Hey YouTube! Well, it is a gorgeous, like, 60 degrees out here today and on this January 6th, and um, I find myself with this brand new car we just got in, a 2012 Honda Ridgeline Sport. This is the new model for 2012, and I'm not a pickup truck person, but I definitely like the way this Ridgeline looks. Like, if I was going to buy a truck, it would be black like this, with those rims, in this... I love the grill. I love the way the... I love this car as a whole, like, the black just looks great, especially with those rims. I know a lot of people are, possibly will agree with me, I like the way this car looks. I mean, it's a nice little change, because the Ridgeline is getting pretty old, it's Honda's oldest model now. They definitely need to redesign it soon. It needs a chrome exhaust tip, but those rims are really nice. This is the crystal black pearl color. And the Ridgeline is one of the only Honda models that actually says Honda on the back because there's no H badge. You know, they could have put an H badge right underneath the tail light ha um, handle or the tailgate handle handle, excuse me. But anyways, these are the new 18-inch rims that are available on the Ridgeline with black painted spokes or inner spokes um, on 245-60s rubber with Michelin tires. Very nice, very nice tires. You know. Um, the door handles and mirrors actually are not painted. Like it, this color is this car is only available in white, black, or um, silver. And um, black honestly looks the best because I don't like how the mirrors and door handles aren't painted. But when it's black, it blends in pretty well. But I love that grill. I love how it says Sport right there in the grill. It's a very nice grill. Anyways, this car is actually pretty well priced, also. And the gas mileage improved by one miles per gallon on the highway to now 21, it used to be 20. And the sticker is only about 30,000 needle 5. Sorry, you guys are having trouble seeing that. Anyways, here's the interior. Pretty standard Ridgeline stuff. No sunroof, though. That's the one thing about it I wish it had. Makes a nice noise though. The exhaust, I tell you, makes a pretty nice noise. Anyways, I'll show you guys under the hood. This is Honda's three and a half liter V6, 250 horsepower, 247 pound feet of torque, and it smells like new engine under here, that's for sure. Anyways, the bed of this truck is what's pretty cool, actually, and it's probably what I want to focus on mostly. Um, the, tag. the bed actually full, opens in two ways. It opens the traditional way, and it even has like a lockable under st storage right there, where you get your compact spare. It's where the rubber floor mats are. It's already lined. Um, there's a light in the bed as well, and you can also open the bed from under here. There's another release right here. And it opens from the side right here. So that's pretty cool. Let's put the tag back on. Um, in terms of interior space, the seats fold up just like my Fit. Um, it even has that the leg right here, but it's um pretty flat floor, good amount of space. Um, you do get an armrest right here, so it's a pretty comfortable back seat for a truck. The seat does not fold back, though, it just lifts up. In terms of materials, this is hard plastic, but it has a nice graining. This is um, padded right here for the armrest. This model at least does come with fog lights, at least. Steering wheel, no Bluetooth in here, no XM satellite radio, it's pretty bare. Um, same through with the materials, they follow through, nice graining. The dashboard materials are hard. It's got a very industrial truck feeling. And you can tell this is an old Honda because it's got an actual airbag cover instead of a totally seamless one. You got an aux port right here. I don't believe the Ridgeline actually comes with a USB. I'd have to double check that. I think the RTL with Nav may. And that model also includes dual zone automatic climate control. That's just a manual single zone. But anyways, um, let's take this one for a drive. The steering wheel is a little bit thin. It doesn't have any side bolstering extensions. It's got this um, column shifter, five-speed auto, this car. I mean, this truck drives really nice. It doesn't drive like a truck, but it sits up high like a truck. If I was going to have a truck, it'd be this.
power also. The engine makes a nice noise. It's smooth. It rides well. Like, this is a nice truck. It's too bad that the Ridgeline doesn't sell in the numbers that it could um, just because it's, it appeals to a very um, small market. I mean, I'm not a truck person, but if I needed a truck, I would buy this. People who are truck people wouldn't buy this. They would go buy an F-150, and I don't blame them. The F-150 is a, a better work truck. But this does give you a smoother, quieter ride. I don't know about quieter, but it's smoother because it's, it's got an all-independent suspension. But then the truck people are complaining because it's not... Your, a truck isn't supposed to have an all-independent suspension. It's supposed to have a body on frame. This is a unit body construction, but... I mean, Honda just wanted to be different. I mean, I like the way this Ridgeline Sport looks, though. It's a nice-looking truck. Anyways, I'm going to take this turn over here, and then we'll do another acceleration run. And then I'll, I'll attempt to get a 0-60 to 60 for this car also. Even though I have a 2011 Ridgeline, but this is a 2012. Really nice day out today, I'm surprised. And it's noon, but there's uh, traffic already. Just the great visibility of the road. Like, I actually do like sitting up high. <laughs> Alright, if you guys can't tell me that doesn't sound fantastic, okay? cannot tell me that doesn't sound fantastic. I love the way that engine sounds. And when the transmission shifts, it makes a nice noise too. Anyways, guys, um, this is, concludes my overview of this brand new 2012 Honda Ridgeline Sport. If you're in the market for this vehicle and you find the black color I, and you definitely want it, I suggest go for it. You'll definitely won't be one of the only people that have this car. Anyways, thanks for watching.